the Beauty and the Beast can be divided into two parts. The first part and the second part is almost the same except right hand melody. The first part right hand melody is played on single note. Of course, we will add little chords at the end of the note, but mostly it's just single melody lines. In second part, in exactly the same melody line, we play it double, means active. So we will just play it today, only the first part. And you can play it well on first part, we will move it on to the next part. Now let's go back to the piece and check the key signature. What is the key signature? One flat. Where? On B flat. So every B has a flat. Then what is the key? F. F major has one flat. First, we will check left hand chords and we'll add right hand melody line later. Once you know the chord, then it's easy to put it right hand melody lines. The left hand chords is very simple. We just have three different chords. Basically, since it's key of F, we most often play the F chords here. But instead of just play regular F chord, what we do is F, five, one. Do you remember last time I mentioned about one, five, one? One, five, one means literally note names. If it's key of F, F is the first note. Two, three, four, five. Five means five fifths off from the F. So that's the fifth note. And one means the same F, but you play an octave higher. That's what the one, five, one. In this Beauty and the Beast, we play a mini one, five, one. It's just keep on playing. So one, five, one, and come back to five again, and go to one. So it literally one, five, one, five, one. Two, one, two. Just you have to watch the rhythm. Combination between eighth note and quarter note. So if we give eighth note as one count, then quarter note will get two count. The first chord, let's see. One, five, one, five, one, two, one, two. That's it. Very simple, right? So these three notes, you just keep playing up, down, up, and down. That's all. And second measure is the same. Third measure is the same. Fourth measure is the same. Fifth. So we have whole first line is the same thing. And even second line is the same. Now, when you reach to the measure six, little bit change. Where? From one five one five, and then you're stepping down to E, which is seventh chord. We're gonna learn that one later, but for now, just remember from one step down. So first two lines, you have combination either one five one five one, that's weak chord F chord, or one five one five seven one. That's F7 chord. What about third line? One, five, one, five. This time, we played this missing A here. That is still F chord, but a little bit stretch. And then, measure 10 will be come to A. Seven, since seven means you're stepping down from the A. 
one step down. That's the seven. And next to measure will be B flat, F, G, A. So you just, after B flat, you play these three notes. And then next to chord will be A, B flat, and D. Your fingering will be E, F, G, A. After you use old finger, just lift and go 3, 2, 1. And next one will be C, F, B flat, C, E, B flat. Got it? What about the next line? The same F chord. Basic one five one, and then next measure will be one five seven seven right here, and then following is one five one, and the next note is a seventh one seven, and then you have half note will be E flat F A. In second page, measure 17, D, F, B, which is if you move this B down, that's B flat chord, literally. And the next chord will be C, F, A. And next one, G, D, F, and C and B. You have to go with finger number you can go this way, or what I use is a 3-1 to connect. But whichever is fine, as long as you can just connect smoothly. And finger number 2 with E, because this is actually C, 7th chord. And come back to F again. But this time you play it instead of F. A, this missing A will play, so one, five, three, five, and next chord is really nice one, F, D, B flat, D, how are we going to play it, it's really far, just D, what you need to do is, a little bit push your, here, this side, rest, and play it like this, don't try to play it like this, Think you can even play it that way. So just a little bit push down in, and the following chord is again another F, and then coming to G A C at the same time. Now up to here, let's check the right hand. Right hand, the first note is rest. The second note is on. A and next note is G and B. So you will play A, G and B. The next one is C and A and G and B. So it will be one, two, one rest, one, two rest, A, G and B, two rest, C and A, and going down, going down, G and B. You have two different note patterns. So A and G B or A and C G B. But G B is always the same. The difference is either you play it A only or adding C. Now moving on to the next line. Finally, melody line comes in. The right hand. A, C, e, F, and then G and B. One, two, three, four. You have rest. One, two. The melody line. A, C, E, F, and then shift it up. Pinky to G and B flat D G. That's the chord actually. But G is the melody line, so you have to bring it out more. And then next to one F G. Next note is E, A, C. But always try to 
bring it out top note because that's the melody line. And C, B flat, A, G, F, and then D, A, G, F, C. Okay, then repeats back again. So we will play it both hands together from very beginning to the part where we left. Ready? One, two, ready, play. One, two, three, four. Right hand going up. Two, three, four. Again, the same no left hand. One, one, two, three, four. Repeats the same thing. Very simple. Now melody line comes. One, two, right hand, A, C, E, F, and then G, B flat. Two, three, four, seventh chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. finger to go down more and left hand is prepared to slide it down from B flat to A F is already here and pinky plays the C F E now A and B flat right hand and left hand is G D F 2 and left hand C and B flat and right hand A Right hand G, left hand with finger number three on E. C. Now this time go to the third note, which is an A. C. Lots of stretch here. D, B flat with finger number one, and D again. And F chord. F, G. And then drop together at the same time. Up to here. And next week, we'll just keep on finishing the song, but it's coming the same thing on octave. So just practice the first part well, 
And if you can play it free, then we will move it on to the next part. Thank you.